G'day Scrappers. Today I uh, just picked up some of these thin clients from a new client. Uh, so really good that I'm still picking up new clients, especially this time of year. Got a bunch of laptops and some PCs and stuff like that and a whole lot of cable. But uh, um, I thought I'd, I'd scrap one of each of these thin clients out because they're a little bit unusual for me. I don't normally... Well, I've never picked up this brand. Normally, I do the Dell Wise or the HP thin clients. I think I've done a Cisco one as well. Um, but so, yeah, these are the Sun Oracle, Sun Microsystems. I really like the logo. I think they're a cool brand. Um, and so here we've got the, uh, well, this is the uh, Sunray 2. So it's uh, quite out of date, this one. On a heavy steel plate that, uh, yeah, I just... Just going to scrap all these out. And this is the uh, Sunray 3. And uh, still a little bit out of date. Well, well, it's it's probably, you know, not necessarily really out of date. But um, it's uh, they're pretty cheap uh, second hand on eBay and stuff. But this one here, this is the Sun Oracle uh, um, Sunray 3 Plus. And uh, so still... Again, probably a little bit out of date, but uh, these are still reasonably sellable. Um, I don't think, uh, I don't really think they're going to sell here in Australia. If these were in America, I, I'd be able to sell these pretty quickly if um, I sold them cheap. Uh, but uh, yeah, so just out of interest's sake, uh, I think these thin clients are really cool because they're like, a, well, they're a little PC. A thin client as opposed to a regular PC which is a thick client <laughs> um, so I mean obviously basically they've only really got a motherboard in there um, the hard drive and everything that's all on connected to the server so they use these for uh, for more security and uh, and they don't take up much space in the uh, offices when a whole heap of people got them and um, and also very low power so all right, well, I think I'll, yeah, as I said, I'm going to scrap all of these ones because these ones are too old. They're not worth really anything here. No one's going to buy them. I'm going to probably scrap all of these out. I might just keep one. Um, yeah, I might even end up keeping one of each just for uh, interest and see if I can eventually find the uh, the Sunray one, which would be a nice uh, part of a collection. Um, but definitely, uh, I'm only going to scrap one of these and uh i'll keep the other uh well i'll keep three at least to uh try and sell them so uh let's just uh crack into one of each of these and just have a little look see what's inside also got this one uh this one's a a trust uh how small is that and it's actually a thin client as well <laughs> that's tiny so it's going to have a tiny little motherboard in there um yeah uh, i don't think i've got the the power uh, cord or anything for this one so I'll probably scrap this one just to have a little look um, but I've definitely got the power cords for these and uh, yeah we'll just have a little look and uh, um, just something to do before uh, Christmas all right well before I get onto the Sun Oracles might as well just have a look at this uh, really tiny a trust one <laughs> Didn't know uh, thin clients get so small, but I suppose, yeah, uh, don't know what they would have used this one for. But just trying to I think the trick is just what trying to work out how to get into them. That should do. Just get the base plate off. So yeah, as I said, it's uh, it's good that I'm uh, still picking up some new clients, and uh, yeah, even though I don't advertise as much anymore, I mostly rely on my existing clients, but uh, I still have a little bit of a web presence, and yeah, and sometimes just word of mouth. People still uh, contact me, and uh, yeah, so because a, a lot of um, 
clients uh, that I pick up e-waste from, they're usually only like once a year. So, you know, if you want to stay in business in this caper, you need quite a lot of clients if you're only picking up once a year. Okay. All right, well, that's, that's the motherboard. And cute. I'll just get off the heat sink and we'll have a look at the CPU. No doubt it will be a onboard CPU. There you go. So, yeah, about as tiny as you can get and almost, you know, really almost doesn't even uh, go as a, a motherboard because it doesn't look really anything like a motherboard but technically it is and uh, so yeah I'll throw these this into a motherboard because there's really not much for me for gold recovery uh, just leave it as is but there you go that was that one all right so I think I'll do this uh, the uh, Sunray 2 first start with the old and work our way to the new and uh, yeah be nice if there was some kind of indication of how to get them open but I suppose that's the uh, beauty of scrapping is uh, yeah. well it doesn't look too complicated does it think it would just pop open yep ah there you have it and uh, as I mentioned uh, quite a few times I wouldn't make a good PC repairman because uh, <laughs> I'm pretty rough when I get into them. So again, um, well look, it's it's not a bad motherboard. It's actually quite nicely populated. It's got you know your two gold corner BGAs, um, you know, uh, quite a few tantalums and MLCCs. So um, you know, not a bad one if you wanted to depopulate. Even though it's uh, blank on the other side. So I'll probably just uh, throw this in just with motherboards as well. Um, uh, not sure so so obviously the CPU would be uh, you know probably that one one of these kind of a CPU if it yeah kind of has any or whether it just runs off the server CPU and uh, no doubt um, yeah I'd imagine like all the software and stuff is on the server uh, so there's no hard drives as you can see there's no RAM modules uh, so it, all the main things are on the server so it's just a, a really I think a really cheap cost effective way to um, have a whole lot of PCs in one place and uh, yeah but uh, not bad I'm happy with them at least we've got you know some for me anyway for tantalums and some nice MLCCs and yeah I'll just throw it in motherboards not bad all right, so now we go up to the Sunray 3, and uh, well, these look a little bit nicer. And again, I'm going to scrap all of these except for one because I'm not going to bother trying to sell these ones. And uh, yeah, so this looks like the only access. There we go. Okie dokie. And there we have it. So the same kind of deal. This one's got a little speaker <laughs> mounted, uh, but yeah, really cool. I mean, I 
funnily enough, what's on the other side, not a lot, a couple of BGAs on the back here. Um, but this one's, the first one is better, de better populated as far as uh, precious metal recovery than this one is. Yeah. And yeah, I might just see if I can get away with leaving this metal on. And uh, yeah, just getting better weight as a motherboard. Yeah, but so far the, the uh, what are they, Sunray 2, I prefer this board. Although as motherboards, this is worth more because it's heavier. That's the only thing. Um, but technically should be taking off this steel bracket. I might do that anyway. All right, so all that's left is the sexy Sun Oracle uh, Sunray 3 Plus. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see what the plus is all about. into it the best we can but if anyone's got a, any uh, problems with any PCs and you need a PC repairman hey give me a call I'll, I'll, I'll try <laughs> and fix it for you and just sort of rip into it like a wow that's a okay so just rubber Kind of insulation. Well, that, that's more like it. That's uh, more like a motherboard that uh, I'd expect. Okay. All right. So again, it would be a uh, onboard CPU here, or main chip, or whatever. Yeah. There's uh, see these don't have really any good value for gold recovery. Or anything these silicon BGAs don't even bother taking them off if you're into gold recovery. Okay, and and this gold corner BGA, a lot of them are not very good when they're like that. You can see that round copper top. It looks, you know, silvery shine. It looks like aluminium, but it's actually a, a copper top BGA. And I don't even bother taking these ones off. Uh, not worth devaluing a board. If I took that off, this would be a mid-grade board. And... Um, a lot of times these copper top ones don't have uh, much gold in there at all. Uh, yeah, but it does have a nice gold band crystal oscillator. Always like them. Um, yeah, not bad. Interesting, hey. So, there we go. There are our three uh, motherboards. So, the Sunray 3 Plus. The Sunray 3. And the Sunray 2. Awesome. Sun Oracle Thin, thin Clients. <laughs> uh, yeah. Not too shabby. At all. Well, that was a bit of fun. Now uh, I'm going to spend uh, the next hour or so scrapping out the uh, two earlier ones. Get all these out the way oh, yeah like i said i might just keep one of each and uh and that was that oddball tiny little thin client yeah quite interesting all right guys well uh this might be the last the last scrap out before christmas but i'll probably have 
uh, do a one or two before the new year. So uh, until then, keep scrapping, have fun, and I'll catch you then.